Okay, welcome back to my channel, guys. Alrighty. I'm going to push for C3. Let's see if we can actually go that far. I've been trying out a particular team. It's more like a speed kind of comp thing. And I'm hoping it works. As you can see, I'm using lesser monsters now. So can I cleave this guy? <laughs> okay, what is this dark robot? Okay, so like the wind one, Blade Crush. Okay, so this is probably a speed type thing going on here. So I'm gonna make sure I lock in my 32%. Then I need another speed lead, but I think I should have brought with me my Unger to instead. But it is what it is. Who is likely to get first turn here? Hmm. He has no attack bar boosters, but he attacks. He has attack bar reducers. Who is likely to be faster? Alright, nonetheless, he's going to go with a speed lead, so um, let me ban this just to be safe. Okay, so like, if I don't get first turn, I lose guaranteed. So that's the kind of match we're going to play this week. Is Tesha went first? And it's Tesha, well, I mean, it's not surprising. Tesha has a high base speed, but it's really fast. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Give up. Like, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like, things like these speed matches. If you get turn one or not, something like that. Yeah, it's a guaranteed lose. Like, the moment he didn't stun or strip and stun my piano. I think he, I think Tesha can do that now. It's the moment he lost. So, yeah. Alright. Bastard first pick again. What's he gonna go? Like, there are times when I don't want to pick a 32% speed lead because the other team might be too beefy and Kusama's AoE doesn't really do that much damage and Rageful Return doesn't come back with a top buff unless you have some Vanessa thing going on but yeah if that is even possible anywho so it goes with 2 wind okay so I can safely pick Savannah and this. Let's see what's he going to respond with. I doubt with that type of comp he's trying to go first. So there's no reason for me to pick a speed lead. At least not yet. Alright, so he has that miles thing, which is kind of usually speedy. Um I'll pick my attack bar booster just in case and I'll pick my speed lead should I pick my speed lead? of course he has none okay so there's no I'm going to ban the miles I'm not thinking like if he I'm not thinking yeah like the miles is the only thing that can potentially throw my team synergy off. I don't think these guys can. So as long as they don't get first turn, that is. Alright, so let's go with a 32% speed lead. Now if this goes as well as I want it, Aomi armor break and then Ongyoku wipes everything. Right, winds of changes, and then gigantic roar. Let's get that armor break. Okay, I'll take this. This is enough to wipe. 
then overwhelm yeah and that panda should have been reset if i recall i think it was resetted or oh, did not no matter i still win oh ho uh let's do this all right let's get rid of this we don't want any comebacks here and no win panda you're not soloing so don't even think for a moment that you are going to solo us you're not you're not soloing us bro don't even think about it And it seems he has he's playing on auto. But that's in the bag. Would be really dope. If we can go see through like this. <laughs> but the thing with this comp, I think it's weak because once you if I get the same guy twice, I'm probably not gonna win. That is if I'm using the same comp. And he takes notice. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> so it might be a player bruiser or a speed team. Okay. Once Sekhmet is there, he's obviously vying for first turn. So I'm gonna go with my thirty-three percent for sure. I would pick Savannah, but the fact that he has double fire there, and I don't know which I'm gonna band, so I'm not gonna pick Savannah. Yeah, and he also picks. Interesting. I think I might take the Leo, because everybody's on my side is on Will Runes. But if I take. I have to be very careful. I'm definitely going to pick Tiana. Um, I think I'm not sure what to do here. I'm gonna pick you because if I pick Savannah, I want to I want to let through the Leo. I should have picked Savannah. No, the last unit will tell me whether or not Savannah would have been a great pick instead of Shimete. Okay, it's not so bad. I don't think I can be hold sped. I'm not sure. Should I ban his 32%? Because if he bans my 32%, there is a good chance the segment goes before me. Hmm. It has high base speed, so I'm gonna ban his 32%. Interesting. Interesting. So he bans my Bastet. As a matter of fact, I should have banned his segment. Yeah, the reason why I didn't ban it is because they'll have too many AoEs going on. And that would trigger Diana's passive and a lot of shit would cut in between. I couldn't bother to deal with that. But I don't think I'll win this. Like, if I can get the armor break on this thing, and I did not, yeah, I pretty much lose at this point. I don't think Hairbender can one shot this thing here. And our only hope of winning is getting some stuns and some reset. If I don't get it, we're not gonna win. Okay, we just lost. <laughs> the violent proc killed us. <laughs> so yeah, this this is the thing with a team like this. Like one unexpected violent proc and you automatically lose. That's really the reality of this. <laughs> So yeah, this is not gonna work. Yeah, I don't need to stick around. Kisama is not killing three of the most strongest wind bruisers in the game. So yeah.
let's see how we can do again with this. Okay, starting with my plastic basket. Okay, so this guy is pushing for speed, so I don't need to hold back. Usually when guys pick like these types of unit, I I don't expect to see a Shimiko here. Uh, should I pick Savannah? Alright, I'm not sure where I'm going to pick, but I know for sure I'm going to pick Tiana. So let me put Tiana. I need some more. What is this? Absorbs the HP of all allies by 30% each and HP of all allies. Afterwards, increases the attack bar of all allies by 40% and increases... Okay. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely picking my speed lead. Um, Who should I go with here? I'll go with you. Like, should I ban the speed lead or should I, should I ban the 32% or should I ban this attack boosting monster? I should. The last time I banned the speed lead and let monsters like these through, I ended up losing. And this is a 40% guaranteed attack bar increase. This one is by chance, so I'll ban this one. Okay, so if I don't get first turn, I lose for sure. Yep, on, on RNG, unless RNG fails him. Yes, it did. <laughs> Very nice when this happens. Now I can just wipe everything. <laughs> okay. Um, this thing is very dangerous. Let's kill it. Okay, it dies now. Mm, I wish the khaki would have died, but that's how it is. Oh, strong damage, bro. Hey, I I really want him to stun on Goku. If he stuns Ongeku, I so laugh. I did not only stun Ongeku, he killed him. I don't think I can win this. My Hongeku didn't do enough damage. But this is the thing I don't understand though. This guy is like low. Like, how can you have that damage and that speed? And yet still have the tank stacks to survive. This is it is so baffling. Are you telling me that their runes are just that good? That good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so he has the speed, the tankiness, and the power behind it. Well rounded. Interesting. So another speedy guy. Alright. I'll pick my 33% just in case. In my opinion, I think... Kisama is the most underwhelming 33% speed lead to use in RTA. And now we have a comp like this once more. Alrighty. I may let through. I'm not going to let through set meth. No, I'm going to banish 33% speed lead. Or probably I should save a speed lead for last. Because now he's going to dig for a speed lead to use. <laughs> oh god. Alright. I'm gonna 
Binance 32% though. It's Binance my 33%, so I don't see why should I let him use his 32%. You see, if I had picked Shimete as my last pick, then there's a chance this thing wouldn't be here. And I would have had a safer chance of getting first turn. But first turn don't always win. So, just like in the previous match. But we'll see here. Who are you going to reset? You chose to at I don't understand the logic. Wouldn't it have been Tiana or Bastet? Why Shimete? I don't understand. Like, was that a misplay? Oh, okay. Okay, then. No, I'm going to kill this. And you don't have any more strip. You stun on Gekko. I could not ask for a better thing. You stun on Gekko. Like, you literally gave me the game right there. I mean, you can still win, but what are the odds? Like, we're all speeding it out here. There's no chance of Violent Rock. So... Yeah, and that thing is charming voice is just being bad. <laughs> I'll kill the only unit that can possibly kill Hongeko, which is that robo thing going on. Or whoever is lower. Hmm. It pains me to see them moving so many times and they're not popping. Uh, let me kill this since you're about to move. You didn't die. That's unfortunate. And you stun on Goku again. Thank you. Alright. Got a little bit greedy there. But I wanted to make use of the fact that Nice, so you keep stunning him, and that's the reason why you're going to lose. You kept stunning him. I don't think you have dot, you don't. So, yeah, like at this point, I'm still gonna use it. <laughs> that he lost because he kept, he, I won because I had on and he lost because he kept stunning on Goku with no dot. So yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's go with Bastet first pick. Maybe I should try a Tiana first pick once. Maybe that would. Okay. He picks a Leo. You see, because and given his. Play style is obviously going bruiser. Now, all my all my monsters are on will runes, and for that reason, I'm going to let through Leo. And I figure I'd much so Verda heal is probably the monster that I'll ban. Um, <clears throat> I'll go with. Should I go with? I'd like some control over here, so I'll go with Charlotte. I'm hoping he doesn't pick another fire unit. <sighs> hmm. So, I, 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 I literally saw that Douglas coming. I saw the Douglas coming. But... He's banning Ongeku for sure, so I have to ban Douglas. You see, I'm gonna keep, like, after this match, I'm gonna rune up 
uh, let me see. Uh, let me make this script. After this match, I'm going to run up a water AoE bruiser. Best person I can think of right now is Alicia. Just for purposes like these. Oh, wow. The damage. Like it's it's like this every time. When I prepare against a Leo, they always ball and proc and drop one of my units solo. I'm hoping I can get some glance. Please. At least on the verder heal. Didn't get it. Okay, that's unfortunate. And I didn't even get a stun. No stun. I tell you guys. Like I think. I think. I think. Um, What's her name? I think Charlotte is perhaps the worst occult girls. Out of all the five of them. Charlotte is the worst one. Like what's the point of stunning now? It's it's already over. What's the point of stunning? Yeah, it's already over because Charlotte is not on a damage build. So yeah. But I'm gonna ruin my my Alicia for this. I could go her because she has armor break armor break is always welcome but i'm gonna go with alicia here i'm gonna put her on will as well hopefully i have good enough will runes to spare uh let me see i have some idea of the breakpoint for the speed. Uh, let's see. I'm not using Sierra now, but I don't want to remove that room. Uh, this should suffice. I want to at least maintain some level of crit rate. Uh, not with that kind of stat. Something I wish attack. Can I sub this out for attack? Yes, I can. Do I want to though? I'll take this one. There we go. And that should be perfectly speed tuned in a sense. No accuracy on skill 3 though, on uh, no accuracy. I believe I gave some to you. Uh, do we have attack? Hmm. I'll use you. Okay. I wish to get some bit of accuracy here and there. I like to have accuracy. I could change this. It's not that great. Uh, imagine looking for accuracy though. Because I want the chance to actually freeze something. So moving that here. Swapping out that and I'll put all the crit rate here. Hmm, it's too low on speed. Yeah, this will suffice. Damage is a little less, but it's fine. Uh, probably want to. Hmm, this is not bad. Okay, I'll, I'll take this. I'll take this. Because there's a condition on this to freeze. And I believe this is speed tuned, hopefully. 
Let's go. GTC Dawa. Interesting name you have there. All right. Just it. Um, let me just pick Savannah. I mean, I guess I should make it a default to just pick Basket and Tiana when. Yeah, so speed lead. There's too much wind to pick Alicia. So, yeah. What are you gonna come with? What could you possibly come with? Hmm, there we go. There we go, the speed lead I was talking about. I'll make sure to lock in mine. And I'll band his. Like, there's a lot of pressure on Savannah and Shimote, but it is what it is. Shimote can still wipe the whole team if used properly. So he made a good ban to actually ban the monster that's doing the most damage. But yeah. Um, who do I want to get rid of though? Hmm, who is squishier? Who is likely to be squishier? Who is the damage dealer? As time goes by, this weapon master gets stronger, so let's attempt. Yes, let's kill it first. And some resets, which is nice. That S9 is very squishy though. Of course, of course, Aerial Violent Park. I mean, why wouldn't you? Let me see if I can get some armor break on you. Okay, cyclone done. Yeah, and then this thing just spams and stuns everybody. Yeah, and that stun could have probably cost me the game. Maybe I should consider putting Tiana and Bastet on damage bills just in case for situations like this where the DPS is almost dead or practically dead. Yeah. Storm of Midnight. Probably should have tried landing armor break on. But if you use Shatter at this point, I mean, if this crits. There, that's a bad move on your part. Okay, so Harriel to the rescue. He doesn't, of course. So, I know he has heals next. Oh my god, how fast can this thing be, man? You see? Could have won that. So, first turn doesn't always make you win. And that's a problem with this team that I'm using. It doesn't have enough threat. Because I'm trying so hard to get first turn. But I'm sacrificing damage to do so. And this is where the problem with Peace Armor comes in. He's not a strong enough. Not a strong enough. Um speed lead unless I'm using CR as my only speed lead but if I go like this pick my primary top bar boosters and then pick my strongest AOE nukers then 
I'm most likely going to win if I get first turn. I'm going to risk, no, I'm going to ban a speed lead. I was going to ban Antares, but if everybody's on will, even if he cuts, the most he can do is damage. So he can't stun anyone. So I'm going to ban the speed lead. Alright, we get first turn. I think this light thing has some passive going on. Yes, I forgot about that. I need to stun something here. I could not ask for better. Thank you, Alicia. So it didn't kill everybody, but I'll take that. That was game changing. You see that accuracy, guys. That accuracy invested. <laughs> it's paying off. Hmm. Okay, be gone. Nice. So. <laughs> Very nice. Let's get it on. C3 is a miles away. Tiana first pick. Maybe a bot. Like, I wish one of these monsters that I was using had speed lead. Like, at a third, I wish one of these units were a 32% speed lead. Is so strong. Hmm. What is this doing here? The last thing I want is to for this something like this to be a nightmare. No. I'm pro. I'm not getting killed by a Mio in 2023. No way I'm getting killed by a Mio in 2023, yo. Like, this guy pulled out, like, of all the units. I'm not getting killed by a Mio in 2023. <laughs> oh my god. Not with crit rate being what it is now. Because... 82% crit rate back then was like a 100% crit rate. Now 82 feels like 82. So, yeah. Freeze the Neho, please. You did not, and you, I had to get stunned. Like, if I didn't get stunned, like, you just had to. Uh, let me not do this. Let me armor break you. Then heal block. That's what you're beautiful. Like, does this karma have some built in stun that I'm not aware of? Uh. 
showing Q for my prox wasn't wise but I wanted to see that thing die what did you think bro you thought you were gonna win with your miho of course not Yeah, let's pump. <laughs> How far are we from C3 I am? I'm going to check after this match. Yeah, I need one more win. Okay, so this guy is speeding it out. Let me see how much she's going to take that speed up. Hmm. So this guy picks a Gianna. Okay. I'll show off my LD as well. Okay. Let's see if he's going to pick another speed lead. He did. Oh, unfortunately. Yeah, it's probably lose. Yeah, there's no way I win this. There's no way he's slower than me. See, they always have that back of 24%. Guaranteed stun. Yeah, we lose. There's no need to continue. No way I'm winning this. Well, let me check how far away from C3 I am. I don't think my playstyle will get me at to C3 though, and I'm very far away. I need at least, I think I, I would reach 1,500 because we're not that far, but the rank has to be really low. I'm at 27,000 and I need to be at 12,000. So this is going to be the last one for tonight. Last RTA match. So let's see how we're going to do this. Hope we can go out on a high note. Okay, so it looks like this guy is gonna play tank mode. Gucci, that's nice. Play your tank mode. I have no problem. Yes, play tank. Uh, this likes to counter, so I'll ban him. Let's go, bro. Choose your funeral. Ban Valisha because he can't withstand the damage. Okay. Still gonna lose, bro. Still gonna lose. Winds of changes. Oasis blessing. Gigantic roar, just a few armor break, not good. But we wipe two units, which is good. Only one left. Let's go, Karna. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> Very nice. And that's it for this week. Of trying to push arena at least in RTA that is peace out people